As we were saying, time flies, doesn't it? It's already July. How did that happen? Actually, did you know that this year's high school graduates are the last class to be born in the 90s? That means next year's NHL draft will be filled with players born in 2000. I know. Sorry if I'm making you feel old, but Gene Principe, he's going to make you feel even older. Here he is already scouting the best 10-year-olds in North America. <laughs> A Canadian welcome for an American team playing in the Brick Invitational Hockey Tournament. 14 teams in all made up of the best 10 year old hockey players in North America. It's very hard. It's like a fast game. Like you gotta go, you can't take a shift off. The difference in the last five years has been remarkable. In the past couple of years, the talent is getting to be so high. While they are just kids, for the week-long tournament, they're treated more like adults, an amateur event which has a very professional feel to it. What's it been like being involved in the Brick Tournament? Um, it's been fun, and I really like it. What do you like about it? Um, how we get to play in this gigantic mall and in front of all these people. You get to play in the mall, you get all the crowd. A lot of people come to see you, a lot of scouts. It isn't such a bad idea to scout this tournament, considering all the award-winning talent who once played here and is now playing in the NHL. And Winnipeg comes in, Taves now breaking in. He's getting hooked on the plate, works the puck in front. Shot scored! Here's Simon with the shot. He goes top shelf for the goal. Stamkos breaks through the middle, takes the shot, scores! So a lot of NHL players who played in this tournament. Did you know that or what do you think of that? Uh, I kind of knew that and I kind of think that's pretty cool that I'm in a tournament that NHL players were in. Are you hoping to be in the NHL one day after this kind of experience? Yeah. On Sunday as many as 3,000 people will fill the West Edmonton Mall Ice Palace to witness the final. Once this year's event is over, the organizing committee will look back at what they could potentially do better and whether they need to go shopping for any new teams. By October, the lineup will be set for next summer's Brick Invitational Hockey Tournament. Team Prince Bay, Sportsnet, Edmonton. That